Hello everybody and welcome to another episode of Enigma SMP. That was a pretty fast intro, isn't it? So, last episode, we left off with building this, not building this, but modifying the dirt faces. Just added some wacky mus mustachios and I think they look pretty, <clears throat> pretty fancy. So last episode, before I ended my video, I've kind of gave a sneak peek on what I wanted to do yesterday. I mean, yesterday, last episode. So, we're heading to Scallywag Refuge. I've added little changes to the place. This one, just nothing much. I just can't bear, like, I can't bear it, you know, like having, like, stone and dirt covering this wall. So I replaced it with, what's it called? With cut sandstone, yes. I replaced it with cut sandstone, even though it's kind of ironic I didn't change this. But at least there's, like, some minor changes here. I also added some signboards right outside, so I left this empty so in case I want to like write something, I can just simply break this and place it here. I wouldn't need to waste my time to like you know get some birch and then build it all over again. So off camera I've been making this, I said I needed help and the reward is 60 doubloons which is a lot of doubloons. So basically in here. I've been, I, I'm too lazy to excavate the place because I've been quite busy in something which I'll show you guys in a bit. So basically it needs excavating 16 times 16 wide and 13 blocks tall. So let's check if someone has actually done the deed. Oh, yeah I, I had doubloons in here but it's gone. So there seems to be paper, <laughs> oh no, hashtag viva la dirt face. Mm -hmm. This should be the leftover materials and work order. Aha! So it seems that King Elfie has been has been getting to work. He's been doing my deed. And let's take Hmm. Well Does that make me part of revolution now? Huh. Let's read this book first. Scallywag Refuge, work order, date April 19. Hello Skippy, I have finished the work ordered, a 16 times 16 times 13 hole in the specified mountain. I have taken it upon myself to include some premium wallpaper on one of the walls to enhance the gambling experience for your customers. <laughs> I require no extra payment for this work, however tips are always welcome. King Elfie. <laughs> Okay, okay. Hmm. Well, he, at least he's, he's excavated this whole thing. And yeah, he added some, you know, some custom work over here, which I'm not against. Or am I? Okay, so as the owner of Scallywag Refuge, I would love to cater to all players, you know, to all gamblers. And I've heard that there are people that really love the dirt face, and there are also people that truly truly despise it so i think i need to brainstorm something to make sure that both parties are happy so if i keep this on the dirt revolution will be happy but the dirt the people who are against the dirt revolution they'll be like why why would i do that and they might not come come to scallywag anymore and on the contrary if i remove this it will be Basically, vice versa. Huh. This is life, you know. You can't always satisfy everyone. But in Minecraft, you actually can. So let's head over to the creative world and I'll show you guys my idea. Okay, so about the dirt face thing, I'll get into that in a moment. First, I want to explain what I'm gonna build in that chunk area. So like, why would I like excavate a 16 by 16? It's because I want to build a very new game in Skywag. So in Skywag Refuge, there are two games. There were three, but one of them exploded. <coughs> totally not Aaron. So there were too many games, Spin the Lights and Roulette. And both of them are single player games. So there's no games that are like require two more players, which makes it, you know, kind of lonely. So I want to make a game where two players can play it. So remember Blackjack, where it was like outside Skywag, it was at the outdoors, and it was fun, I played it, I don't know which episode did I play it, but I played a few episodes ago with, with, with someone, 
is it Teague Ivy? Oh my gosh, I can't remember. But, but yeah, I played it with a lot of people. And a lot of people played it too. And overall, everybody had a good time. But one day, everything changed when the creeper attacked. So the game was gone. And it's coming back again. And this time, there's more modifications to it. It's going to be like way better and way more smooth. The gameplay will be like more fun. And it will be more... You know, it, it's just a better and more immersive experience. So first, here we have a bunch of chests and lining up. We have the switch on, yada yada yada, blah blah blah. What does this do? Okay, so there's a dropper here. Okay, and there's this a bunch of chests. Wait, can I open it? Oh, it's blocked by this thing. Huh. <laughs> Give me a moment. <laughs> okay, alright, let me just... Oops, my phone vibrated. You guys might have heard that. Never mind about that. Okay, so in this chest, there's a bunch of cards. Assume there's 52 cards in it. For here, I won't put it in because it's just too tedious. I just wanted to test whether the, the shuffling works. So yeah, so let me just put this back in because we don't need the chest anyways. And we can break this back. Okay, so this thing is connected to the hopper here. And it connects to this hopper and then the dropper here and blah blah blah. So this thing is turned on, the redstone dust here, it will turn on to activate the hopper so that the items in here won't get sucked in. So if you turn it off, you will hear like, yep. So this is the shuffling thingy where this hop, this chest will get sucked by this hopper here, which is then put into this dropper. So since there's no items in here, right, that's why when it's when it like ticks, it will make this annoying sound. So let me just turn this on first. <clears throat> okay, where was I? Okay, so like all the cars will get in here, will pass here, and then it will pass onto this, this chest. It will be like, this is where it shuffles basically. And then it will get in here, and then it will finally drop into this dropper. Okay, so this is basically the, the shuffling mechanism all over here. So this is basically the playing field. It's kind of similar to the, the first version of Blackjack that I built, but this time, okay, so this is this is the dummy, okay? Pretend that this is another player. And this is me. So you can stare at your player while you're playing Blackjack, like this. It's kind of the same thing as last time, but this time there's a glass here. And the reason for this is, so basically I have this redstone torch, which is activating the sticky piston, which is then holding this glass block preventing the water from flowing down. So when you press this button, this thing will open, and at the same time, I've connected the redstone circuits where it will line up all the way to the dropper. So this thing, there's some tick delay here, like a few ticks, I, I just kind of make it like approximate, didn't make it too precise. Basically what I wanted to do is, I want the cards to drop first, then this thing can open. So let me just demonstrate it to you guys. Kabam! It drops, flows to me. So this is where the players will receive their cards and they will be putting like their cards here. They can hold it if they want, but th that's totally up to them. And same goes to the other side, but I didn't like prepare the redstone because you know it's pretty much the same thing. Okay, so I didn't really create it yet. So my idea is I will have redstone lamps. Okay, I'll have redstone lamps over here, I think. And then, since there's like three, eight, there's four scenarios, okay? So there's a scenario where you get 20, and where you get 21, and then there's a scenario where you blow up, which is over 21, of course. And there's a scenario where you get below 20, which is 19 and below. So there's four scenarios, the player will light it up, and then the player from the other side will be able to see it. So that's basically how they will show their scores if they want to like that. And then when you're done with the game, of course, all the cards have to get shuffled back to the deck. So once they're done with the game, they can... Let me just delete this. They can get their cards here. Oh wait, that's not how... I, oh, I'm creative. Oh, I forgot. Let, let me just change my mode real quick. So when they're done with the game, right? They can just simply toss it back to this wire thingy and then it would travel here and go all the way back to this hopper 
which is then transferred back here. So it's basically like a start over. So this same thing will be built over here, which is the second player, and it will also travel back to this place. So yeah, that's basically how the whole mechanism will work. And about this switch, I will eventually like line this up somewhere where we can activate it. Yeah, probably like for both sides because like this player can activate to activate the shuffle. If somehow that player is busy, this guy can like activate it. So yeah, just pretty simple things, nothing too complicated. So I will build this in survival mode later on. So now back to the dirt face thing. So remember where I mentioned that you can't satisfy everyone, but in Minecraft you can. So here, this is my idea. So there's this target block, and you know if you hit the exactly over here, it will emit. See, I didn't, I didn't even do it correctly. So if it hit it over here, like right in the middle, it will emit a redstone signal of 15, right, all the way to 15, right over here. So like if you hit the edge, for example, it will be like slightly weaker, like so. See, like it will get weaker. So my idea is, remember the dirt face has the eye. Over here at the wall, there's this dirt face, right? So my idea is, I will put target blocks right over here, like somewhere in the eye, right? And then another one over here maybe, or maybe I'll just put one, we'll see how it goes. And then basically what the player has to do, they have to like stand somewhere, maybe like there's like a borderline here, like maybe, maybe like from here behind. You have to shoot the target block and it has to be right in the bullseye so that it will emit a redstone signal of 15 which then will trigger something, right? It will trigger some, some redstone and then a dropper will be somewhere here and it will drop, it will drop doubloons. Yeah, it will drop doubloons. So it's a pretty nice thing. Why is it good for both parties? It's good for people who are against it because the people, the people who are against the dirt revolution they can express their hatred towards the dirt face by shooting it constantly. So even if they don't win, they wouldn't mind because they hate it and they want to shoot it. And it's good for the dirt revolution because they can earn money if they hit the target. So like, and the wallpaper stays. So it's, it's, it's a win for everyone. With all that said, I think it is finally time that I start working on all of this. I wouldn't want to get into a time lapse because I basically explained everything already and that might have taken much quite some time. So I'll just whoa and then we'll head back to the finished product. Whoa. Alrighty, so the blackjack thing, yep, I didn't do the time lapse, I just fast forward in time and here's the whole thing. And yeah, you know you might kinda of misunderstand why there's a bunch of fire here. And basically, I'll explain everything very, very soon. So as I'm speaking right now, in 10 minutes, there will be an opening ceremony and a bunch of enigmites. There are three of them online right now. They will be coming here to witness the opening ceremony. And in my inventory, I have this gold doubloon, which is like a freebie for the people who attend. Anyways, I guess I'll just wait for a few extra more minutes and then we will begin the opening ceremony very very soon and just a heads up and also a reminder we have two games in this room we have blackjack and also the dirt face hello everybody welcome to scallywag refuge today i'm gonna do an opening ceremony for a blackjack game and besides blackjack there's one bonus game which i'll introduce later on and since all of you guys are here Guess we have a freebie, so this the stand where you are, the stand where you are. Here you go. Ding ding. Mm. And Aaron. Okay. And Aaron oh. picks up all of them because we didn't pick them up in the cluster. Yeah, I, I didn't get one. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> then I didn't get any. I, please pass I didn't it to your friends. <laughs> they quite I have one. On. <laughs> I have one golden doubloon. Yep. I, I got one now. Okay, so. What you guys are holding right now, right? It's it's a very rare item, considerably. Ooh, yeah. Gold balloon. Ooh. Mm -hmm. It's like Willy Wonka's gold tickets. A new mm -hmm. item to smack Emmy with. It's basically two stacks of doubloons, if I could put it that way. 
Wow. Oh, uh, Skippy, wow. I would like to trade my, my gold, two stacks of <laughs> for another golden one, please. Okay. You should have told me that before I passed them out. <laughs> I mean... <laughs> you should have known. <laughs> okay, so shout out to Lelith for providing me these fireworks. So Blackjack <laughs> is officially open. Ooh, pretty gray ones. Blue okay. Gray. So everyone, you, you guys may head inside right now. I want to be first! Okay, ah! <laughs> before I explain how Blackjack works, there's one more thing that I want to show you guys, which is the bonus game. So I would like everyone to head upstairs. I understand that there's two groups here, which is the Dirt Revolution and people who are against the Dirts. Mm -hmm. um, three, I'm on neither. <laughs> I mean, yeah, there's, there's okay. three sides. So, this, I believe this is a game which is beneficial for all of you. So, if you guys had, like, walk to where I'm standing, you guys can stand here. Yeah, you guys can take a look at the dirt face. There's a uh, oh, target block a over there. Uh, yeah. Oh, Aaron just died. It needs to be destroyed, Lilith. <laughs> Skippy, you might have done a, made a mistake Lilith. bringing these two groups yeah. together. Uh -oh. You see what I see, right? I, I already vowed to destroy it when I saw it yesterday. Okay, good. Then, so, then take uh, but now it's but now it. but now it's Skippy's game, so yeah. But that I'm means torn. It's a side point. It's a dirt <laughs> face. All dirt faces must be destroyed. Okay, let let me explain. So instead of it being destroyed, you guys can use your bow and arrow and shoot. Try to shoot the target block over there, and Ooh, then I don't have a bow and arrow. Yeah, the good thing about this is. You guys can. Ow. What are you guys doing? <laughs> Why did you do that, Teak? I just got one How shot. <laughs> <laughs> How could you do that, Teak? He was just explaining how the game works. You just killed the announcer. <laughs> I guess it is time we move on to the blackjack. <laughs> okay, so right over here. On your left, this for here, this lever is basically you can tell your opponent how many points you got. Mm -hmm. So you don't need to talk, gotcha. I mean, <laughs> this is Good. for for anyway. suspense. This is for suspense. Sure, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So let's say I got 21 points, right? I can just flick this and then you guys can see it, right? Is, is it correct? Can you guys yep. see the light? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yep. And then same goes for the other two, like this. But why would you ever say that you are you have blundered? Um, <laughs> I don't know. Because you're an honest person, Aaron. Okay. Some of us are. <laughs> I don't think so. <laughs> I'm not. I'm just saying some of us are. If you guys see the minecart chest, can you press the button? Yeah. <laughs> I, I it's gone. In there, not yeah. Button. Okay. So what? So what? Mm -hmm. This is is basically the betting system. So. I can say like I want to bet Aaron's head, and then I'll send it to you guys. <laughs> I want to bet myself. Wait, okay, uh, and then we then we add uh, a torch and two and four Emmy heads. Yeah. And then, and then the game starts. So right now, <laughs> why is Emmy inside the game? <laughs> Emmy, if you die in game, you die in real life. You know that, right? Oh, there you go. Oh, oh no. Virginia, I couldn't let slide. <laughs> Wait. That's it's all the way there. Why? Oh no. Why did you do that, Rommel? This is in the game system. <laughs> hey, you said you baited me with it. If you die in game, you die in real life. I mean. Uh, somebody break this so I can get in. Nah. Uh, nah, I'm good. <laughs> Guys. <laughs> did you get everything back? Uh, yeah. Skippy to you, I am sorry I didn't mean to break your game. <laughs> Now just put the lantern back, it's fine. Well... Everything... <laughs> this ceremony was so chaotic. I was so nervous opening like the ceremony that I did even type Blackjack properly. So let me just change this up real quick. Blackjack 2.0! Yep, so Blackjack version 1 was right over here. And it wasn't... like it wasn't the best but it works. And the creeper blew up, so that thing was gone, and hence Blackjack 2.0 was born. So here I've already given like the the introduction and everything. So all of this is done. 
there were like a lot of glitches in the redstone somehow. I don't know how it happened because when I tested it, everything worked fine. So yeah, I was quite confused. Thankfully, Teak was there to help me and everything is solved now. And also, I thought that this thing will actually, you know, be a win-win situation for like the dirt revolution and also people who are against it. But apparently it doesn't, so... Oh well. <laughs> and I had an agreement with Wando that one day this thing will have to be removed, so... I'm afraid I have no choice but to comply. Because I don't want to lose my, my top customer. Okay, with all that said, I think, I think I'm pretty done for this episode. I've put in so many hours for this entire thing, like the interior, the decoration. But okay, enough babbling from me. Thank you guys for watching and, and if you guys enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button. And I'll see you guys on the next episode. If you guys wonder what's gonna happen next, I guess you'll have to find out on the next episode of Enigma SMP. Oh, I was like, oh, no! <laughs> oh no! Oh.